Let's see. Um, yes, you can connect. So we're going to start with the third species exercises. If you don't mind. Do you mind? <laughs> Let me see. Uh, third species counterpoint. Okay. Now, I have to say that uh, I give you a result for the right. I make a boo boo uh, when I explain the exercise. Uh, think about having the cantus sermons uh, on the base. I am sorry, on the lower note. Um, and that was a mistake. Angira was very smart to point it out to me. It is the same, no? It is. Uh, with the. Um, ah, can I? Yes, tell me. How, how much was the cantus sermons then? Because. In Laura's exercise, it's half. In Laura's exercise, it's half. No, it's here. Ah, okay. Thank God. Okay. Ah. <laughs> um, so Laura made it the bass, and then you have soprano here. The tenor, sorry. So she did it as specified. Okay. So Laura, yes, whenever you, you, you see this, mm -hmm. you were right. <laughs> you did what I asked. Uh, wait, where is the, the other one? Why you can't find it? Well, let's start with the Laura and then E because you, you did two E's. Am I right? Um, yeah. Oh, yes, it's this one. Yes. Very good. Although we can we can have a base. Um, I would suggest you have a base one of the higher. Yeah, I, but in the Cantus Fumos, I think it's, uh, it's here, you see? Um, there. It's the same thing. But the thing is, if you if you do it here, the, the D, um, it's possible, it's possible for, for a base. I'm not saying that it's not an impossible note, yeah? But the distance between, you know, the, uh, the bass and the, and the alto is a little bit too much, yes? And you have, a, I hope that your bass is Russian. Yes. Yes. So this is a little bit more, uh, you know, amalgamated. Yes? And, and the range of it. So we're going to start with the one with Laura and as uh, every lesson, is and Georgios, you are my assistant in the correction. So if you, if you see something, you want to say something, by all means, say it. Okay? We are all in it. Okay, first, you're going to listen to it and then comment section. I think this is better. I don't know what you think. Okay. Now, let's see the line. I know it's tiny, but I just want you to, to, to see the, the whole line. There's one climax towards the end. This is a big picture here. Yeah. Then, if you see this zooming out, you see that there is a there's a wavy structure, wavy pattern. Yes, which is pretty okay. 
Yes, it's not very linear. It combines um, neighboring nodes with some some skips and ascending and descending motion with this what we call subsidiary climax and the E, and then it goes this in descending motion to the F. So in, in general terms, I see that it's a, it's a good line. Yes, there are no major leaps. Yes, so if I have to make a judgment, this is Laura, you know, wanted to play a little safe. So there are no major leaps of six or six. But it's okay. I mean, it's a very gentle line. Now, I don't know what you think. Here you say, and or if. <laughs> so, ah, actually, okay, wait, let me see. The whole thing. Um, I don't have so, so about specific things. Let me see if the one specific thing uh, other. Okay, so in the first bar, yeah. I'm the, uh, some. There are two almost like a double neighboring note which doesn't uh, come back in the beginning. Ah, okay. Uh, well, so let, let's zoom in then. Okay, yes. good. I'm going closer, yes. This. Uh, so that I don't see the excuse. Now, the, then it's a correct double neighboring note of the second bar. But then on bar. What was it? Ah, there, yes. No, ah, where was it? There was another double neighboring note. Ah, yes. One, two, three, four, fifth to sixth bar. Maybe here? No, fifth to sixth bar. Is that acceptable? I'm not sure actually. This. Because it's again like a double neighboring, but resolving to the next bar. What you're trying to say is the, the, this one, which is the fourth going to the six and then going to the consonant. Yes. This. No. Mm. Because if this is, so let's, now let's try to zoom in. Yes. So yes, when you have, okay, start with the, um, this is correct, starting on the second correction. Yes. She decided to start with an octave. Then, as you said, double neighboring, but that double neighboring has to return. She returned to a consonant, yes, but the whole point of the double neighbor is to prolong this note. Mm -hmm. So, let's say that um, if you if you don't return, I mean, if, if you do one neighboring, yes, um, let's say that you go this, this would have, have been correct. Mm -hmm. yes. Yes. Or I feel better this because why? If not, that the E is repeated too much. No, F E F E D so e, again E yes. So yeah. So when you do because the problem the devil never needs to prolong the same note. Yes, you're right. Um, this is correct. This is neighboring. Yes. The one, ah, okay, but the one there on the one I mentioned is prolonging the same note. It is returning to the same note for the next part. This one. For the next part. This one. Yes. Uh, you have it. You have. I mean, this. We have a little problem here actually because this is a this. Yeah, no, if. If it is a B flat. Ah, uh, it's true. Pass. Pass. So. But if it weren't. No, no, if it weren't, yes, it's fine. But the thing is, it's a B flat. In, so we should. Mm, okay. Yeah, we should treat it. it can, can be a, basically, we have to change this because this, as a, as a dissonance, it cannot be taken by. Or, 
Um, or, or nothing. Or, <laughs> maybe, or we gotta skip it. <laughs> maybe a uh, change. No, I mean, energy. yeah, I mean, I, we can do. Mm, yeah, I mean, I would do this. Or yeah. what, what do you what do you do? What, I'll just what change you? the B and the A so I don't go to the range. Oh, yeah. G A B C. G A B C. Yes, I oh, also can be. Yes. Um, also can be. I think it's a little more the, the, the lead. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's a little more bold. Um, why? Because if not, you, you have all this very wavy. You know, yeah, um, yeah. Yeah. If, you do, if you do this, can we have that skip on the previous bar and then carry on going down? Carry on going down, how do you know this? Which, where is it? You can write, you, you remember that. You can write on the. Because you say skip is like, okay, skip where? <laughs> <laughs> 12 to 10. Dollar. Oh, dollar do there. And then carry on going down. But skip to do to 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 what? Like instead of compensating going up at the gap, which we never heard actually. Yes. The B. We never listen to B. You never listen to B. Wait, but you want to listen to B here? I don't know, but should we not go up at some point after we go to the skip to the C A? Should we not go up to B? Well, yes. The thing is, well, you cannot do it in this in this bar, at least not unless it's a dissonance. You cannot do it in this bar. She did it in this bar. And we could do G A B C. When I said G A B C G A, yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, I mean, both of the of the of the options are good. And what you say? Ah, okay. What you say is like I keep didn't hear the B. I want to to, to listen to the B compensate. Mm, yeah. Yes. What I was saying is, at some point, she, if we cannot do the B, at least not appearing uh, like in the previous section, you hear the B kind of clear and strong with the precision. So at it's some from point, the, from, the, from the third to the fourth bar, have that skip A C, and we go C A, and we avoid it completely the B. Yes, the C and A here. And the previous, and entering the bar, we enter with AC. Yes. So... So you want I, to hear the B. That, you can hear the B here, but for me the, the compensation comes much stronger here. If it was a fourth, would we have that option? If this is as a fourth, we will have it option. To avoid compensating immediately? Uh, well, because uh, it's, because now it's yeah. A, C, C, A. yeah, I mean, they go, sometimes you cannot put the notes because there are dissonances, so you have to wait a little bit. I mean, the cantos rumor changes, or at least you, you, you put it, but as treated as a dissonance. Mm. If you, yeah, because here the, the, the piece of fourth, so she conveniently skipped it. Okay, <laughs> yeah. And this is a diminished fifth. So at some point, I mean, the, what I see with this, oh, Laura. Hmm. Laura appeared. There you go. When I see that uh, she did very well, which is, okay, when she had the, the chance, let's say, yeah. She, she put a six right there. Laura! Hi. Good morning. How was the storm? Uh, it's calmed down a bit now. My was... God. Sorry, I didn't see you. So I, I, I just saw the, 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 you know, that the, you enter in the meeting. Um, and we were talking about your exercise, actually. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you, can, you can see the first, the, the first half, yes, uh, at the beginning. Uh, we were talking about the compensation of the lips. Uh, one thing that Yes, I would mention uh, is that you did a double neighboring or you, know, uh, you were doing you did this at the beginning, yeah, 
and it's a double neighboring, but the double neighboring, the purpose is to prolong the note, so you have to go back to the same note after that. Yes, I'm, I'm not saying that you uh, you cannot do it here, okay, unless you have this, uh, I don't know, an A, you can do two, yeah, so you have a six. But if you use double neighboring, is to prolong the F, and that way you have to come back to the F. Yes, that's one. And then we kind of sorted it out, uh, putting this, <laughs> just a neighboring, yeah, so fixed. Uh, another thing was uh, you, you put a dissonance. No, I can't remember what you did. Um, oh yes, what should you do? Oh yes, the you will put a, a B flat here, and then a, a, a leap after that uh, B flat. But B B flat uh, with E is a diminished fifth. It's not a fifth. So in this case. Yeah, we well, right. This is a this is a perfect fit. It's fine, but you abandon the dissonance by by this. Okay, so in general terms, very good. There was something. Okay, this, for example, is a double neighboring. That's prolonging a constant. That's beautiful. Um, I think at some point you did like a dissonance by skip, but I cannot find. Oh, yeah, here. Oopsie. So. A fourth abandoned, which is a dissonance, abandoned by skip. That you cannot allow. No. Sorry. But no. Uh, we can. I don't know. If, if you, the thing is, if you have an A, it's a seven. If you have a C, you have a second. So I would suggest to change this altogether. Yeah. Okay. So you see what what, what happened there? there? Oh, wonderful. And then, but in 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 general, the, the line was 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 really good. Yes. And in this case. Okay, also in general terms, yes. If you see the line, you can see a very wavy line, you have the climax at, at, you know, towards the end. So in that sense, I mean, the, the concept of line is, is getting there, yes. And now you, 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 you become a little bit bolder with, 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 the, with the leap, which is very well done. Um, the only thing is that now in the, in the details, we have hmm. a little problem. <laughs> Seven by jump. Yes. It is, despite the fact that it's on the, on, the, on the last beat, we can hear it. <laughs> yeah, so you have to go always, the distances go, yes, except that the, the, when you have a double neighboring, in which those double neighbors are by third. But then, then they, they go to the same note, yes? It's um, dangerous, yes? 
Now, what I, I see here, well, again, yes, I, I, I see that you, you compensated uh, quite a lot. In general terms, you use this at the beginning, yeah, it's, it's a very pattern-like, second, second up, fifth up, third up, yeah. I know that it's hard to, to get, you know, things right. I mean, not, not really, like compensating and balanced, but try to avoid this type of pattern-like figures, like this. Really? Huh. Sorry, did you hear this? Really, I said, ah, that's the only thing that would make uh, some structure in my head. <laughs> but not, not, not one after the other one, one after the other one, one after the other one. Ah. Yes, if you combine, for example, if I put this, this, then you jump to that, this, then you jump to that. Yes, so the whole point of country was create variety. Yes, it obliges you to basically to think of this. Um, but that's one of the, the to, to always, you know, be creative with this. Um, do you see that? You have an 11th by 4th and 3rd, yeah? If you have, let's say, a 5th, that would have been, I mean, better mm, for the dissonance, but then you have to change this, because if not, you have 5th, yes? Um, unless... You do this, but you have a little problem with the melody. Oops. Then you can go to the C, but the C is a climax, so I, I, I know that how difficult it is. I would maybe do something, even from the beginning of the bar, to reconsider a couple of things, or change this. Yes, I need to do this, do the G, which is uh, the note say that is okay but also we have a little problem with the B flat it has to go to A it has to yeah so we have to change this note yes by well, repetition of the note yes it's not that other will contribute like that but um, um, but just consider it. Yeah, but very good. Very good. Georgios. You're up. <laughs> yes. Okay, let's see. Uh, what can you listen to first? What happened? The second section I put the uh, fragmentation basically. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, but that's that is fine, yes. And I, I, I I'm telling you what I was told you before, yes. But in counterpoint, yes, we kind of have to get out a little bit of the parameters we would think the development that that will that will come after yes we would just focus on um, how to be creative with, with the melodic line mm -hmm. how many things we can do how many options we, we have mm -hmm. yeah uh, but it's not wrong yes at all it's, it's just another way to see things yeah 
um, then you will see that you will apply the creativity, yes, but in a whole piece, yes. Uh, it's kind of a counterpoint is, is, is useful to um, to create multi forms, to create new you know new, new lines. Then you use that, and then okay, you say okay, repeat this motif. I I, I, I insert into a form, yeah. That's got is is um, not wrong, really. I mean, and also you you see the climbing, the climbing. Uh, the only thing is that I don't see a, a, a very, very strong, I mean, it, it seems to be a climate, right? <laughs> because you have, a, you know, very clear subsidiary climaxes. <laughs> but I have one tiny thing to say. The climax was already heard here. Mm. Yes, it's a very long. It's a very long. <laughs> I'm just you to put two climaxes. <laughs> but if you see the the, the 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 I mean the the pieces, yes. When you have a climax, you have one. Yes, it's the true one. That's and this is the whole point about these pieces. You can have subsidiary ones, but climax you have one. Mm. Yes. Is it, it? It helps you to. I don't know to 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 develop this architectural sense. Here. Yeah, that's why with, with this little thing, with this minimal, yes, minim, min, minimal resources, yes, which are just nodes. Yeah, if you can handle this, imagine that when you have a full orchestra. But you have much more, you know, contributing elements to, to handle. Mm -hmm. That's why this is in the minimum. They say, okay, um, uh, try to mm -hmm. handle this just pitch wise. Yeah. So that's why that's my little beef against you, Kana. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Kana. But the line, you know, yeah. Again, I'm going to say the same thing with with, with Laura. I see that. There, there is an intention, yes, there is an anti-climax here, yes, there is, as you said, well, this was your first kind of climax, yeah, um, we could manage maybe yeah. to do something about it, the thing is, this is a little bit, well, you have the same problem with, with Laura, you have a diminished faith. Ah, is this allowed? That's what I want to say. The diminished faith? Because it's going by skip, but then it resolves down immediately. That's escape tone. Um, still a fifth, that's why it's, it's confusing me. But yeah, I know, but it's a diminished fifth. Yep. It's a dissonant. Augmented mm -hmm. intervals, this, um, uh, diminished dissonances. Dissonant. Yes. It's a dissonant. Mm. I should do sol la sol something. Sol sol la sol la sol la fa 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 sol there, and everyone's happy. And I <laughs> on, the, on, the, yeah, on the previous bar, the si la si la can I put si la si fa? To avoid the la 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 la. Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> yes, very good. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Then, in general terms, I mean, there, there, uh, there was something about. I mean, in, in, in general, it's very good, and also you have, I mean, you have a, a jump of a fourth, then, you know, compensation ah. of the, yes. I'm sorry, finish that, and then I'll have No, 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 no. On the, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth bars, uh, where the 
entries. Here. Yeah. On the, yes, the Cantus Firmus Pasol. Uh, yes. Yeah. The, I have fifths very near on those two bars, but are they okay? Well, because they don't change the direction, they are yeah. the same rhythm on the second and fourth and then the third. Yeah, they are a little bit near because you need three, right? Gotcha. Now you have two. One this is. first one, yes, is in the weakest part of the beats, yes, and, and then it changes. It. The the first the that last one on the door doesn't change direction. It's like hidden. I thought it is. Yes, it is hidden, and also, I mean, if you if you have again, the intention here was to, to have in there the climax um, for the, for, for C. Yes. Now try to avoid it. Yes, this is the same thing. Try to avoid it as much as you can. Now, if you cannot, then you have two coaches instead of three. Yes, again. And then you have these changes in direction, which is fine. Yeah, it's too loud. And especially when they are fifth. Yes, octave will be just even worse because they're more noticeable. Mm -hmm. But fifth, you know, it's not that bad. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Now I was going to say something. Where was it? Lost it. Uh, lost. Well, I really like the fact that you use, you know, this this fifth, 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 yes. But mm -hmm. the only thing is that, well, again, this is the spot on your Picasso, because you, you had a design <laughs> <laughs> of fifths, yes? Although we can argue that one, two, three, yes, um, you can clearly see that this is sequential, yes? Mm -hmm. And this is the same thing I, I told you know, uh, Laura, yes? It's too sequential, it's too... Mm. I mean, I know that, remember, unity in variety, variety in unity, yes? But mm -hmm. sometimes, you know, for the sake of the unity, yes, we relinquish a little bit on the variety. And the contemporary is, is skewing towards the variety, yeah? But in German, that's really, really well done, good. Yeah, very good, very clear. Yes, and, and well management, the, the compensation of the, of the speed were very well taken care of. Uh, the, the whole concept of the line again, yes, with an anti-climax and a climax, that is exactly what we want, that type of control, yes. And the next one, if someone, Laura Nides uh, wants to ask something or say something, please do, feel free. Okay, again. There is again some sort of sequence <laughs> yes, on the same moment. Ta -da -di -da -ba -ba -da -ba -da. I mean, it has sense. I mean, it, it has a logic. A sixth down compensation, third down compensation, second down compensation, second down, and then climax. I mean, it has, it has a logic. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The, the, this, Logic behind the madness, okay? Uh, Why do I not put... Why are they not all with uh, the intervals? Sorry? Second half doesn't have the intervals. 
Uh, no, but I assume that I know you forgot or something. I don't know either, to be honest. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm done. Boom. No more. <laughs> no more <laughs> intervals. You should know this better than me. <laughs> You're the teacher. You figure it out. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so you should have them. Okay. Um, now you have, uh, but the, well, again, the uh, subsidiary climate is wise, very well done. Yes, not so sequential, please. Yes, although there is, again, there is a design, yes, of, you know, shortening of the, of the intervals. You have six, three, two, two, climax. So there is a design. I, I, I can we can argue that in the sense of, okay, I had a plan. I mean, it's very clear. This, you know, shortening of the distance towards a, a single point, which is a climax. Yeah? And then it opens up again to a six. So when you see those patterns, I, you know, I can say, well, you had a plan. Yeah? Although, you could have done the same result with the same leaps or skips, but maybe some change of direction, something. Yes, but this is very—I mean, this is very like fine tuning. Yes, fine tuning. No, that is wrong. Yes. Um, now, what we didn't do, yes, in general. Well, um, I think it was a, at some point it was a diminishing interval, but. By now, uh, this is okay. Uh, why am I crazy? Um, um, no, this is fine. Uh, no, fine, fine, fine. I didn't say anything. The only thing we didn't do, but in, in a, again, yes. I see that you manage to try to at least, you know, scalic passages, then leaves, then neighborings, then double neighborings, the scalic passages, double neighborings, leap, yes. So you try to. Include as much as I could. Exactly, yes. Additionally, yes. Yes, so that's about it. Uh, what I didn't ask you to do was what we saw from the examples last week is to reduce, to do a reduction of your species, of your... And that's yeah. very interesting. Very. Yes. Um, I'm thinking... But for now, very good, Yes. Mm -hmm. Very, very good. Now here it is. You're up. Let me see. Okay, very good it is, eh? In general, very, very good exercise, you have your climax. In your case, you repeat it with a neighboring, but it was one of the cases that you could prolong the climax for a neighboring, but it's, it's one, it's considered to be one, okay? Um, that's fantastic. Oops, it disappeared. She couldn't take it. Did I say something wrong? <laughs> Hello, it is. You did it. You, did, you, you, you were not mortified by my comment of the climax because you disappeared. I know, yes. <laughs> no, I know. Okay, so, um, very good, very good. 
Uh, again, this is a very good line. Yes, you, you, you. you is it's very let's say wavy. Yes, so you try to 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 do this variety of this or, organic sense. It's not very scaly. When 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 you see, I mean, the the good thing about this pieces is that you very clearly see if it's very wavy or you have scaly passages going like that, like that, like that, like that. Yes, like a like a sawtooth. Yes, you start to see how the, the, the melodic line shapes itself. Um, except for the octave, yes, um, the subsidiary climaxes, I mean, I don't see them, but maybe your idea, and I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong, was from the climax, from a huge, you know, leap, then smoothly go towards an end through kind of subsidiary anticlimaxes. But this is what I can draw as a conclusion. Yes. Although I will tell the same thing to that I told Georgios. If climax is one, yes, one climax. This is a, yeah, you can you cannot repeat the climax. Yeah. Very well reached because of an octave and then prolonged with a neighboring, but you cannot repeat the same note. If not, it's not a climax. Yeah. I don't know if you have to say something about this. No, I understand. Yeah. And again the idea from you have you have predominance of a G G C and then a B yes and then an A and then a G and an F yes but this is what I see yeah now well needless to say that we need the numbers yes here and trust me you 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 need them in the sense of at the beginning is, is extremely useful, yes. Uh, for example, uh, let's say you have here. You have an A with an E, then you have A with a G, but then it is not... Now, is this considered a double neighboring, may I ask? You see what it means? So you have G, sorry, F, E, G, F. So, is this considered a double neighboring? Yeah. I don't, I guess. If you don't, if you, if we don't see the cantus firmus, Yes, I would say, well, yeah, an F, E, G, F. But let's consider the function. That's why this 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 counterpoint is is important. The function of this of this F. From where did it come from? You have a G, you have a D, a fifth. Yes, this is okay. A fourth neighboring, a leap. The seventh, as a scape tone, which we don't handle now, goes to an E, then goes to a G dissonance, goes to an F consonant. Well, it is the scape tone. Okay? Now, this F is a dissonance. What is the whole point of the double neighboring? The function, because what you have to learn is the function of things. What they're for. So, what is the point, the, the, the function of the neighboring in a nutshell? Anyone, I lower the audience. Yes, good. Long. 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 Long.
if you, you exactly really uh, if that not is prolonged it's because it will be addition or a consonant I mean yes I mean I, I still but for me also, I mean I didn't allow the as a prolong I thought it about the and to resolve the dis so but you're resolving the dissonance in a, in a way that we haven't seen. I understand what you're doing. It's a scape tone. What would you do is a scape tone, like clear as day. Yeah. Is taken by 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 scape the dissonance and resolves in the opposite direction in a step. Yes. Towards another concept. That I get. Yeah, but that is more ornamental. We are, we're seeing two uh, two types of of functions with this first piece. The one that we previously uh, learned, which is a passing, which is the first notion of movement, the passing tone. Consonants, because consonance is stability. Dissonance is uh, instability, yes. Why? Because when you're in a dissonant uh, passage or chord, you want to move away from there. So in music, we, we take it like that, not like, oh, this is beautiful, this is not beautiful, this is nice, this is not nice. No, consonants is stable. Is the difference between a, a perfect fifth and, and, a, and a diminished fifth? Yeah, if you play the, the perfect fifth, you cannot get more consonants than that. Diminished, you cannot get more unstable than that. So, we learned the passing note, yeah, which is the concept of movement. Yes, there are, there are concepts to be learned here. That's the most important thing. Not if if you follow the, 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 the rules correctly. My, my main concern here is that you learn those those concepts because then, like fractals, yes, we're going to extrapolate them, yes, in bigger things, yes. You, you can see them in tiny, tiny things like one note going after the other one, one chord going after the other one, one section after the other one, Yes, it, it, it takes several um, dimensions, that concept, yeah? And the second concept, the new one, yes, which is created in the, in the first pieces, uh, or presented in the first pieces, is the concept of prolongation. When you want to stay, yes, the passing note is directional motion. Remember, we have three states in music. Stability, local activity, directional motion. Whatever you do, yes, whatever you hear, you always are in those three moments. Stability, local activity, directional motion. So stability is the first piece. Directional motion, the second piece. Local activity is the first piece. Why? Because as you prolong something in time, you are... You're, you have some local activity, but you're not moving away from that, yes? But that is important to, when you prolong something, you have to prolong something that's structural, not, uh, I mean, a dissonance cannot be structural, such in this case, yeah. Yeah, the F, Regardless of how you took it, yes, that it worked jump, but the F, the one, the, the note that you prolonged here with a double neighboring is a dissonant. So that's my main concern that you understand the concept. When you prolong something, you have to prolong something that is structural. Whatever, whatever note you want. Yes? Is that clear? More or less? Yes? 
<laughs> That's why what I'm going to ask you to do the next the next task for all of you is to reduce your you can choose one you don't have to do a you know, both of them but you're going to choose one yeah you know what no choose two, both <laughs> Both of your exercises that you presented to me, you're going to reduce them in first or second species, as you saw in the previous lesson. If you have a doubt about that, don't worry, we, we, we can refresh it. Yes. Do it first and then correct it. Because then you realize which note was important. Yes, when, when you do this, this exercise, sorry, Elise? So you mean that I get this and do it in seconds? Not in seconds, pieces precisely. If you remember, yes, um, the the last lesson of the, the presentation of those pieces at the end, yes, um, there, there was an exercise of the third pieces that at the same time, yes, on top of that, we saw how it can be reduced into the first or second species. I see. So to do that with this exercise. Exactly. For example, let's say that then you will realize, so what we am going to ask you to do is this. Yes. You're going to add another yes, on top of this. Okay. I think with you is very no. I can't do it. Yes, I can do it, but I can't can figure out what. Yeah. Yes, thank you. you add, yeah, you add another stave, also with for Laura and Georgios. You add another stave, and in that stave, I mean, the kind of room is going to be the same. <clears throat> and then in that stave, you're going to basically transform this three counterpoint in either. It depends. You will, you will, you will see. Yes. If it's first pieces or second pieces, we have, for example, let's say, um, let's say that this you have a double neighboring on a note, yes. Let's say that you have well again, I will mention this again, but fourth by by, by skip, yes. Um, but let's say that it was um, the D was a double neighboring. Okay, so D, and then you have, you know. Oh, yes, 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 go. Bye, 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 <laughs> bye. Uh, let's say that you have there. Yes. This is the example. I'm going to slightly change it. Okay. G, yes, with D, fifth, sixth, fourth. This, if you have to transform into the in, into the reduction, is this. It's the first piece. Because it's a prolongation of that note. That's the whole point. Now, when do we do it? For next week. But when? But like, when in the piece do we reduce? Yours. The counterpoint that you did. I guess. But uh, when is the appropriate time to moments to reduce. I will leave it to you. Nice. <laughs> That's the whole point. Because the task at hand, let's say, is for you to figure out because the thing is the most important thing that I want you to understand. Yes. And to truly grasp. Yes, it's not that you follow the rules, okay, this is okay, this is not <clears throat> Beyond that is because this is you can apply in compositions or in the case of Laura, you can, she can see yes what truly is structural ornamental yes and from your piece from you decide because when you have the whole piece yes you have many things that are ornamental but if you if you start take them out taking them out taking them out take them out then at some point you're going to find yourself with the pillars. 
yes? And, and that's the foundation. So if, if the foundation is not uh, sturdy, it's not, it's not strong, because when you say, oh, this was a very long time on their point, it was on purpose. <laughs> of course it was on purpose. <laughs> because then when you it's longer, it's much more difficult to manage, and then it's but what saves you, yes, is what I'm going to ask you to do. You do the reduction. Because when you do the reduction, you say, Oh, okay, I want to go to here to here. To here to here to here. Now let's go back and then see how. I'm going to do that. Remember that we talked about the what and the how, the structure and its expression. The structure and its expression. I want to go from here to here. How am I going to do that? Straightforward, like in a straight line? Well, of course not, because in art we don't do these obvious things. I mean, practical things, let's say. Because the, the pleasure is in the journey, in the how, yes, that's the whole point. Yes, so for next week, yes, the same, the same exercise, yes. If you want to tweak and correct the things, you know, you're very welcome. Uh, the same thing for, for Laura. And you just add one more, more save above, yes, whatever the counterpoint is, just above, and then the reduction doesn't Laura, any questions?